little thing I like to do uh, in all of my files is I like to have no extra counts. So if these were my page tabs in a drill, I would always go to the very end. And at the end, I would I'd go over here and, and bring my red cursor to the uh, all the way to the end, my, my yellow cursor on my last page tab. And I either reduce this down to four, eight, sometimes 10 counts. I find it just looks better. It looks nicer, cleaner uh, when you're sharing the file with others. So I just recently had a private lesson with a student and they said, I'm really trying to work to not get text boxes on my drill, but I still go back to it because I, I don't really like the production sheet. And then I showed, uh, I showed them how I use it. And I think that's uh, what was missing there was, um, you know exactly how to do it so here's how I do it I, I open it up and I can move it anywhere I think some people tend to leave it to the side um, but I bring it I make it a window I don't use any of note 2 note 3 note 4 note 5 I put every single thing in note 1 um, as I'm writing and clicking on each page it changes the drill as you can see here it changes the drill pages that you see so as you go and you type in your info, it'll change and, and it'll do that. You can play and scrub the drill just to make sure that you're putting all of the um, necessary information in for the, the directors. And then, of course, uh, I know I've done this probably two or three times in my, in my um, tutorials, but I always, um, I always just include note number one and then print preview. And what you'll see is that especially with these big bands, all the info is down here at the bottom and it is just much cleaner to look at, much cleaner. One thing I like to do as well at the end of my files, I always highlight everybody when I'm done writing. I go through, I grab the red and I pull it along the entire timeline. I hit the label tool. I make them as close as I possibly can by clicking closer a bunch of times further twice and apply to all of the range um, and then I hit accept and I know that on every single page now the uh, labels will be down. Now when I go to print or make the PDF for the client I make sure that no labels run into each other so some pages I do have to modify. Now another thing that I do to make my PDFs and my files look cleaner is I don't print my charts uh, with overlays. So that means the little dots of the previous set and and uh, the, the current set as well with the, the normal symbols. So I take the overlay off so it would be a difference between this and so you can see that you can see the previous set uh, before it and that sort of thing. So I like to have the overlay off. I feel it, it makes the page a lot less busy, especially for bands that are larger. Now, another thing you can do to clean up your files and just make them look easier, cleaner to look at is change your font size. So document options, uh, real view, pers uh, sorry, pref uh, preferences. And you'll notice um, there's two different ways that you can um, you can print your symbols and labels. Now I keep mine PyJava 2 for my symbols because I use, uh, I tend to use some of the things like a lowercase s is the dot, uh, at symbol is a circle and that sort of thing. But when I go to print, uh, I display them at 24 because that's what looks good on my monitor. But when I print, I need to make them much smaller so that they come out uh, looking a little bit um, less cluttered on the page. So I'm gonna make that 12, okay? Save as defaults, because I like to do that so that every time it looks like that. Now when I go through, I print charts. Save changes before printing, yep. And I go in, I don't have a whole lot of, um, you know, symbols running into each other. And that really clears up the page, uh, really makes things look, uh, look real nice and clear. Also, play around with uh, changing, you know, the font of your uh, labels. You know, maybe you can find a font that you like just a little bit better that has better numbers or, um, you know, if you use a lot of lettering in your, um, in your labels that you like the font better. Another thing you can do to clean up your 
uh, files or to make them look a little bit nicer is to print as dots. Uh, I had a, a, a lesson recently where the person said, I, I like to use the letters because they help me identify my sections. Um, you know, A maybe for altos, uh, F maybe for flutes. Um, but at the end of the day, they still wanted them to look like um, a dot on the page. Now, in this case, you would have to make the label A1 instead of just 1 like it is here in this example because you can go, without changing anything in the file, you can go to this little function here um, called print performers as dots. So right here, all performers as dots size 6. Maybe we'll make it size 8. Okay, print preview, and now all of those performers have become dots. It retains the color, uh, but yet it turns all those letters into dots, and that kind of cleans up the, the, um, the picture just a little bit. It's a little bit easier to look at. But like I said, uh, with this drill, it wouldn't really work because I just have all numbers. So it would need to say A1 or F11. That way you know or the director knows that those people are, are flutes or altos, that sort of thing. So one thing I found in one of the newer updates the last few years, I don't know if it was version 8 or version 9, there was this thing uh, called proximity. And, and when you highlight a, a performer, it, it shows you know kind of how far, I guess, they could, they could move in a given direction, uh, maybe based on uh, 8 to 5 or that sort of thing. I guess you can put in your own markings. I, I never really liked having that on there. I felt my, my computer for some reason struggled uh, more when I did that. So to turn it off, I uh, went to, so to turn it off, I went to File, Application Options, and then I just, I just put my transparency here. It's on the first one, Ease of Access, Field, Stride Zone, and I just, I just go to Clear. Um, I like to have the other indicators on, um, but I just find not having that on is just cleaner to look at, and I, I just like the way it looks a little bit more when I write. All right, so one of the things that I do to kind of clean up uh, my, my workflow as well is to label my files different things. So whenever I do a drill for a client, I will always do a template file. And the template file will look like um, just the setup, basically. Um, and then from there, I will create my other files. Now, usually, I'll do a movement one and, and maybe a movement two, and I title them like that. I'll show the high school the name of the movement. Sometimes it's part one, sometimes it's opener, whatever it might be. And then usually after either movement one or I've sent them one and two, they'll start band camp and maybe their, their numbers will change uh, just a little bit. Either they'll go up or they'll go down. And, and I'll title this, um, you know, movement two, and I'll say um, new numbers. I'll even just type that into the title um, or I'll say new and then I'll put the date. So I'll do like 823 if that's August 23rd. Then that way I know that the numbers have been updated and I'll keep the old file. I'll also have the new file, the 823. Then when I go on to movement three, I know that I've continued from the 823 numbers. So I'll do movement three and then I'll put 823 in there as well so that I know that those numbers in the movement three have been updated from August the 23rd. Okay, so one trick I use with my smaller groups is uh, when I want the, the drill to look really clean uh, on the PDF, I make sure it's all zoomed to the correct uh, level. And one of the things that I do is I add uh, these guys. I make four people. Since we didn't really use back of the back hash and most of outside the 20s, um, I put kind of a, a just four people around. I make them white so you can barely see them on the, um, on the thing, on the screen. And then because those guys are there, I can now go print charts. Yes, save. And I can hit zoom. And I know that the zoom will be exactly uh, the, what, what I'm looking for. So zoom, primary performer positions, stage front border, and then text boxes or props. And that's how, how I'll zoom. And now you'll get um, kind of the same level of zoom on every page. This is where those performers are in those corners. And as you scroll through, you can see 
that that all stays the same. Because you know sometimes if you zoom, it'll go really far in, and the next page because it, everyone spreads out, it goes really far back. And I just find this looks much cleaner. So that's a way to do it. Now, if you don't want them to show up on your real view and have kind of four random people in the corners, you just uh, hide them. So go select them again. Select them again, and then just go uh, display, hide selection, and now they're gone, and they won't be on your real view display. Okay, just remember when you go back to make your PDFs, you've got to go display, show all, and they come back. And there they are, and they, they work as a nice boundary um, when you're you know working with smaller groups that like to cut out most of this part of the field. All right, my last tip here for uh, creating cleaner looking files uh, having a cleaner workflow here is uh, the grid designer and that is making your um, grid a little bit better when it comes to um, printing okay because sometimes you'll notice uh, if you've ever gone to print your drill and it, you use these blue lines that you can't really see the 4x4 four four grid you can see the yard lines you can see the the in-betweens the 4x4 four four, but the the step resolution isn't really there so there's some options for you color options you can go ahead and you can change all these so that they're you know a black or a dark gray kind of version or you can go to load and you can go to these layouts and you can find the one that says gray photocopy so a 10 yard end zone high school uh, field uh, was the first one and you'll notice that it becomes much uh, darker now it doesn't necessarily look a whole lot nicer to your eyes I think as you're writing but certainly it's a way to get better photocopies for your clients. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.